Hey Gemini, this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of November 2021. It is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it cannot resonate for all of you. But that's okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you for the second half of November. What is the overall energy? Oh, we have regret. Okay, so somebody is really regretting something that has happened, okay, within this connection. Um, it could even be a little bit of guilt here that's playing out, um, possibly even for a decision that someone has made. So let's see, let's get into this. And also the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else. All right, so let's see. Gemini, what is going on here? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Second half of November. Okay, for this situation, we have the Six of Swords crossed by the Fool. Yeah, okay, it feels like somebody has um, has made a decision here, has taken some kind of an impulsive step. I also feel like that is the challenge, right? Somebody kind of avoiding a situation. So it feels like um, it could be, it could go either way. Either there was a very impulsive step or um, action that was taken or the opposite, all right? Somebody is avoiding taking that action. All right, so let's see for the recent past. We have the Knight of Cups for the near future. These cards always stick together. I love them though. But near future, we have the Magician. For your energy, we have the Seven of Wands. For them... The Ace of Cups. Deeper look into your energy is the Knight of Swords. For them, the Nine of Swords. Oh, okay, there's the regret. <laughs> and potential outcome here, we have the King of Cups. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like in the recent past there was... Either there was um, a lot of love between you and this person, or this person was just charming, this person came in. Um, you know, and everything just felt fine, or this is this person um, offering that cup to somebody else, but we'll see more when when we clarify. I mostly feel like this is how this person was um, towards you as this Knight of Cups, right? Being really sweet, um, speaking about their emotions, or just being open, all right, emotionally. For your energy, um, Gemini, you're guarded. I feel like you're you're a little bit guarded and you're trying to really, really like stand your ground on something here. And I feel like you're doing this very, very actively, but but beneath that there's a lot of restlessness. For them, with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords, this, yeah, this person has a lot of love for you, all right? There's a lot of love here with that Ace of Cups, but this person is also feeling very, very stressed currently and I do feel like this is actually the regret. So this person is regretting either doing something impulsive or not not taking a leap of faith here and avoiding almost like trying to avoid a conflict like as, like as soon as something felt a little bit threatening or difficult or complicated or you know intimidating this person um, just tried to walk away. Um, for the near future, the magician, okay, something is manifesting here. Something is manifesting. And for the potential outcome, we do have the King of Cups, which again is love and emotional stability. So I feel like that is what is actually manifesting. But let's clarify. So let's see that Six of Swords with the Fool. Alright, so the Six of Swords again the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. 
yeah, there's a lot of attraction between you and another person, all right? A lot of attraction here. I do feel like this is um, the other person's energy. Of course, again, the roles can be reversed. So this person does have a lot of desire for you. They see you as being just very desirable, very attractive. Um, it's like magnetic. But again, they're avoiding, they're avoiding a difficult situation. It's like as soon as something just begins to feel a little bit like, oh, you know, I might be getting into this too deep. This person is moving away from the connection. And it could even be that they're wanting to move away from how they feel because it was just so strong. Not trusting. It just feels like, you know, to them it would feel a little bit... For some of them, like like it would be the unknown or like a fear of losing control. All right, and for others, if you've been with this person for a while, um, they are. It, it's still coming through as them being, as them being a little bit intimidated by how they feel about you, and how much they want you, and just really feeling like that might actually lead to to problems for them. So let's actually see that Knight of Cups in the recent past. Alright, we have the Eight of Swords and the Emperor. Yeah, see, again, it's coming in this way, uh, like a fear of control. Um, and it's all in their mind, right? I feel like even, even in the past it was there, but it may have been hidden. Like this person felt like they had it under control, right? And they felt like they could just, um, you know, charm you and, you know, sweep you off your feet and everything can be like really sweet and nice until they started having these really intense feelings and feeling like they were losing control here. Um, let's see that Seven of Wands for your energy. We have the Two of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, okay, so you still have, you still have feelings right for this for this connection but you're really putting up your your guard i feel like you're really trying to block this person out of your mind and you're trying to move on you're trying to walk away from this but the feelings are still there and you know this can get a little tricky it can get a little tricky because yeah on the one hand you want to move on you want to move away from this because well this person is not um you know <laughs> giving you what you need, basically, not trusting. Um, but then on the other hand, you know, it's easy to cross that line of, okay, when is it that I'm really, you know, detaching and moving away? And when is it that it's really just a self-defense mechanism to protect myself? And sometimes that can be a part of the process. It can be helpful in the beginning. But if you stay in there too long without confronting your emotions and without acknowledging them, then, you know, it can be like you're, you're staying in that forever. And then that is just going to keep eating at you. And I feel like that's why you have this Knight of Swords here, right? There's that restless energy. And that's because you do still have feelings. And that's not a bad thing. Okay, that's what you have to fully, fully um, understand and believe. It's not a bad thing to still have feelings for this person. But yeah, I pretty much see you walking away, um, setting your boundaries, blocking this person out, but it is, it's almost like with this Two of Swords and the Page of Cups, like there's something you're not seeing here within your own self. And eventually, it, you know, it's just something that is going to come up for you. But that's okay. All right, let's see the Knight of Swords. All right, we have the Six of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the King of Swords. Yeah, I mean, you are you are healing, all right? You are healing, but there's still, like I said, there's still this energy of wanting um, somewhere deep down, you know, missing this person. There is that nostalgia here. Missing, you know, the the sweet times, right, the, that you shared together. But again, it's like you're trying to think very, very rationally. 
Um, and you're being very, very firm in what it is that in what it is that you're doing. But yeah, you're you're healing. All right, so let's see for them. Let's see this Ace of Cups. So we have, ooh, ooh. they're getting the Nine of Swords for the second time. And the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune, okay, at the end came out. So yeah, th this person is going through a lot of regret, all right? This is like so clear that that is their energy. Um, I don't know if they're showing it to you just yet. We will see. Give me one sec. Dropped half the deck. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure if they're showing this to you, but this person is really going through a lot of turmoil at the moment, a lot of mental anguish, and it's because they do have these feelings, all right, and they regret whatever it is that has happened here, okay? It might not be exactly what I said because it was a little bit specific, but possibly something along those lines. Okay, now, it does feel like, you know, they're feeling like things have changed, Things have changed. They feel like you know you're moving in a new direction. You're moving in a different, um, in a different direction, and so they're not sure what's going to happen here. It's a lot of fear that they're holding on to here. Um, they're in a, a pretty low vibe. All right, but let's see that Nine of Swords. And for some of you, okay, this isn't going to be for all of you, but for some of you, right, with this devil, it could definitely be that they were, that they were unfaithful or that, you know, there was some kind of an addiction or, you know, they just gave into some kind of a temptation. That could definitely be um, the situation for some of you. And again, there's a lot of regret concerning that or whatever pattern it is that they have been repeating um, possibly over and over again within this connection, okay? Because maybe whatever it is that has happened here is not, it didn't just happen for the first time, okay, is what I'm getting. I feel like this may may have been something that has happened before or something similar to it before. And so also with this Wheel of Fortune, this person is thinking about changing that, okay? If it was a pattern and if it's been something that's been repeated, this Wheel of Fortune is representing them wanting to make that shift now whether they do or not that's a different story but this is this is their energy at the moment so clarifying the nine of swords we have the nine of cups temperance and the three of cups okay again it's coming in as if this person like indulged in something some kind of a behavior it does not necessarily have to be with a third party it definitely could be especially having this three of cups um, showing up but it could even be just something as simple as you know what this person just um you know uh, just being very social but not including you for example all right it could even be something like that but whatever it is i feel like there was a little bit of a selfish energy behind it not necessarily in the bad way <laughs> although it could be um but not necessarily it, it, it feels to me like more of, of self-protection in some way because this person is really regretting whatever that is. Really regretting it, really wanting to, to find some, um, some balance between you and them and within the connection. They want to heal the connection and get things back to how they were with that Three of Cups. All right, so let's see the magician for what is coming up. Ooh, and look at that, the two of cups and the star. Yeah, you know, I feel like that's them. They're really trying to manifest this connection back, all right, coming up with that star. At least that wish is there. That's what they're trying to do. They're really wishing, wishing, wishing. Um, I do feel like they're are going to be some actions that are taken, okay, with the magician. I do feel like this person is going to, you know, take some physical steps to try to make that happen because they want this, this connection with you. Let's see the King of Cups. All 
well, the first card out for the King of Cups is the Queen of Cups, all right? So, um, and I know I haven't called out any, any signs. I'm seeing um, Aries, obviously. We have Capricorn, we have Aquarius, we have Sagittarius. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of signs. We have a whole bunch of signs. Definitely showing water here. Um, all right, so yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, sorry, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. All right, so two aces here. All right, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, that's that's like a power couple right there. Number one, number two, two aces. All right, the Ace of Wands, which is like a coming back together, right, for a new beginning, starting fresh. And the Ace of Pentacles in the 3D, right, in a more practical, practical way. So actually, Gemini, I think your reading was actually like the most positive out of all the zodiac signs so far. This is just, um, yeah, really, really beautiful energy to close out the reading here. So I do hope it resonates. All right, so let's see, Gemini, if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. All right, we have the full moon in Cancer, a personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, so I feel like that is on your person side for sure. Um, as for you, I mean, because it does appear like you're trying to block this person out, you're trying to move away from it. Obviously, like I said, there's still that nostalgia um, underlying that. You are healing, so there is a reason why this is happening. It's bringing something to your attention to be healed within you. But then, you know, ultimately it will be up to you what you decide to do um, when and if this person um, comes back to try to start fresh here. I do see them um, coming in though with with emotional maturity. So yeah, but you have to trust your own intuition. So that is it, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching and much love.